What's up, YouTubers? What you're seeing is an extension of what used to be Junction Park. And this is a brand new series. It's a little mini series that I'm making that is recording and preserving through uh, films and videos and pictures of the remnants of this very historical artifact here in Beaver County, Pennsylvania. By 1901, all the deals had been set in place. Aliquippa Park, which is, which was located over at the grounds of the uh, former Jones and Lachlan Steel Corporation, had been sold. The PNLE Railroad bought that. The Aliquippa Park, consequently, died as a result of that merge. It was the final nail in their coffin, and the PNLE Railroad needed that property so that they could continue to build their railroad into Beaver County to transport more business, triple the business, triple the ridership of its citizens and its business transactions. And it eventually found its way and connected over here as well. Ex uh, ju uh, Junction Park was like the Kennywood of its day. All through here where you see the Y at now and the various buildings car dealerships and whatever is here along the uh, former railroad here in New Brighton. It was all along here, but in the back here is where the streetcars were. This is where people from Rochester and Ambridge and even in some cases Aliquippa would come and go along the streetcars there. The Beaver County Transition Company was in charge of all of this. This was their property, was their grounds, and they operated it sort of like Port Authority does in Pittsburgh. It was a very important means of ridership and commerce in the old days of Beaver County. And there is a guy, there's a biker there. There are biker, biker trails all throughout here, as you can see, you're, you're looking at them right now. So what we're gonna do today is, I'm not gonna give you the entire history of Junction Park. I'm gonna just do that throughout this series. I don't know how many films I'm gonna make, probably five or six. And through all that course, I'm gonna leave links below the videos so that you can see pictures of what it looked like then and the pictures that I am taking now. So this is a very personal project for me. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoy the history that I present. And I also hope that what I'm filming and what I'm going to photograph here will be appreciated in the generations to come long after I pass. I would just like to motivate somebody to, you know, take up their camera or whatever that's going to be 100 years from now and do what I do and do what others have done. I'm not the only one. So with that said, uh, let's take a little tour here and see what we can see. Let's see what kind of old artifacts we can find. I know this used to be something here. This was probably part of a building. And I've already been through certain parts of this area. I haven't covered it in its entirety. I'm saving that for spontaneous filming like I normally do. I might and might not at times continue to practice that technique as I film, but I have been through some of this and some of it I have not. But as you can see, a lot of the old telegraph poles are still here. When this, when Junction Park finally closed its doors, it was just left behind a rot. And as you will see in this series, a lot of it is still here. A lot of it. I'm just looking for a uh, looking for a date nail here. So I can't really find any. I don't see any. Still got the bolts in here too. From 1901 to, let's say, 1928, 19, early 1930s, hundreds, hundreds of thousands, probably th well over a thousand people a day would be going in and out of here. This would have been a very, very, very busy hub in Beaver County. And by looking at it, you wouldn't believe that now. It's been silenced by 
our version of modernization. Let's take a walk up here. There's something up here. Yeah, as you can see, there's there's a plethora of bike trails. <laughs> They're all over the place up here. Very high hills up here. Lots of exploration going to come. Lots of interesting things around this area here. It's a gold mine. And I'm very pleased and privileged to bring this to you. You just need to use your imagination a little bit that this would all probably would have been level. It all would have been laid out nicely. You would have seen roller coasters. You would have seen Ferris wheels. You would have seen hot dog stands. They had a ballpark here. They had a racetrack. You got to look beyond this. Even some of the great boxers uh, did exhibition bouts here. And they also had ballparks. A lot of minor league baseball teams played here and a lot of major leaguers, including Hannes Wagner. He walked these grounds. How many of you know that? Man, there's bike trails endlessly over. Despite all the sadness, historically speaking, it's still a very beautiful place here. It's peaceful. Here's the remnants of a very giant old stone structure here. Just look at that. very muddy back here luckily it's starting to dry out a little bit I certainly don't advise filming back here after a couple of heavy rains feel free to add some comments about Junction Park now I did Earlier this morning, I did a lot of research on uh, this topic, obviously. I've accrued a lot of old photos from fellow historians and some of the historical societies and gave me permission to use their photos. Of course, people use them anyways without their permission, but, you know, it's not really owned by them. It's owned by the people who actually took them 100 years ago. I mean, that's my view about it, but unless they made a monetized transaction to acquisition those, but anyways... Uh, I will be showing you a lot of that. I will be leaving links below through my various uh, other platforms where I store my photographs so that you can view them for yourself. And feel free to use them if you wish. I don't care. If you use one of my photos, just say courtesy of Mark Grego. If you, know, if you want to use one of my photos, that's all I ask. Other than that, I'm, you know, I'm game. I do the same thing when I use other people's videos. I give them credit, so I try. Sometimes I forget. I don't know what this place was here. Very strange. Big giant wall. I could go up to the top and explore up there on top of the wall. There's more, they were cut. More telegraph poles. The beaver uh, county transaction company pretty much controlled the acquisitions and operations of these telegraph tunnels and trolley transports and streetcars and stuff of that nature. They were pretty much the king of that because they had wealthy investors backing them up. One company was in Pittsburgh. It eludes me what name that was. Maybe it was the Pittsburgh Tube Company. I'm not certain, but they had... Uh, they had clout. Let's put it that way. They had clout. Let's go up the wall. Let's go on top of the wall.
couple of mini caves here. Right there. Right where my index finger is. Right there. I watch a YouTube channel where I know a couple of young guys that would try to crawl in there if they could. I'm dead serious. I'm adventurous, but I'm not that adventurous. Would have been quite noisy here with all those street cars and trolleys going and the trains as well man there's a lot of trails back here yeah there's a pole if I can uh, see if there's a date on here. Man, this was a bad idea already. I'm getting bit by jaggers. Should have came here in the summertime. Shoot up here. I'm sorry, guys. All right. I'm looking for a. Uh, no. Needless to say, a very historic relic. I'm just looking for a, a date now. I thought I might get lucky and find one. There's another one right there. It's too, it's very decomposed. Okay. It's just like, it's like the edge of the wall right here. I don't know if you can see it. Man, this is Jagger City. Wonderful. This thing's coming right at me. <laughs> Hold on a minute. This thing's ripping me to shreds. Man, this was a bad idea. Wow, hold on guys, I am caught really bad. Hold on one second here. I gotta step on this. There we go. All right, sorry about that. All right. Thought I might be something on here, up on the top of the wall here. That's what I thought we'd see, but guess not. This is my first time exploring up here, so. Oh, it's really hot today in Beaver County. They said the high today was going to be 65. Feels hell of a lot hotter than that. Of course, I have a sweat coat on and a backpack, but man, it's really warm. There's 
the last of the wall here. They fit these with stone. Wonder where they were quarried from. I know there's a still an old stone quarry out there going towards Elwood City. Where that uh, that driving used to be, I forget what it's called. Not Spotlight 88, the other one. Y'all who live in Elwood City or close to it, you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's go back down and uh, see if I can get some more of that building that I did the last time. See if I missed something. Because I got more coming, but I just want to make sure that I try to cover everything for you guys. I don't want to miss anything that's important. jaggers in here I'm gonna get eaten up again they are not friendly yeah after a heavy rain I do not recommend coming back here it's painfully obvious I'd love to come back here with a shovel and just start digging holes just to see what kind of relics I can find. the remnants of the last wall here. She has definitely seen better days. Old drain pipes, piles of brick. Nature just slowly reclaiming Junction Park for itself. You know, they have a sign down over by the uh, YMCA that commemorates the location, but boy, they sure should have something up here, don't you think? You could repurpose this into a walking tour. A lot of brick, lock, very old. These ones ain't got no writing on them. That one does. No beaver. It's 
amazing how many brickyards Beaver County had at one time. Beaver County had everything at one time. And here's the crumbling structure right here. Oh, wow. You can tell this just broke off. You see the moss covered big pieces of the stone that broke off from the wall here. Yeah. That's it. That's the last of it. There you go. All on film. Okay, guys. I'm going to close this video out. I'm going to do some more exploration. And I'm going to make another video for you. And um, we'll see where it goes with that. Okay? Uh, if you have any comments or any questions, feel free to, you know, comment below. Let me know what you think of this little piece of very important history to Beaver County. So, very important in the history of amusement parks in general. Because they even had a, uh, they even had races here, dog, um, horse races that were very popular here too. So, uh, we'll save that for another time. More history to come.